Hello, I'd like to take a few moments and walk through the vCenter Operations Management Pack for Amazon Web Services. As you notice on the screen, you're looking at the VMware Solutions Exchange website. This is where you would actually now go to download any of the vCenter Operations Manager Management Packs. And this is where you would go to download the vCenter Operations Management Pack for AWS, and you would select Try and go ahead and download that. Then you would install this management pack in vCenter Operations Manager. So I'm going to, uh, before I show that, I just wanted to show very quickly the AWS Management Console. So here is the AWS Management Console, and you can see um, in the AWS Cloud there are a number of different services that are available to you uh, to leverage. And so the uh, vCenter Operations Management Pack for AWS supports a lot of the compute resources uh, that are available. So uh, I just wanted to show you here the console and then I'm going to select EC2 which is the Elastic Cloud uh, Compute Resources and you can see that in this I'm, most of my resources are in the US East as you can see here and I currently have seven running instances and if I click on seven running instances I can see the different instances that I have I can see their names, the types, the availability zones that they exist in. I can see that they're all running and I can see all that information and you can see here that I have an alarm on one of these specific resources. So now let's go into vCenter Operations Manager. So once we've installed the vCenter Operations Management Pack for AWS, there's going to be seven different dashboards that are going to get installed as part of that. And so if you look at the dashboard menu, there's going to be a category called AWS, and there will be seven different dashboards underneath it. And you see them laid out here on the dashboard bar on the top portion of my screen. So the first one is the AWS instance utilization. So I'm actually now seeing the different instances that I have in my AWS cloud, and I can see them here, and I can see the different types of uh, resource uh, categories around them, so CPU, uh, memory, disk, disk writes, uh, network transmit, receive. So again, you can see these in the different widgets, and so in the top widget I can select the different resources and then I can actually see additional information around them. So here on memory, very similar, I can see additional information. Now this is great because I can now actually see information um, you know, around my Amazon Cloud uh, here in vCenter Operations Manager, as well as any other aspects of my environment. So aspects of, you know, storage, um, you know, potentially other clouds, um, you know, my vSphere environment, everything here in one single place. Switching over to the ASG utilization. ASG is an auto-scaling group in the Amazon Web Services. And what that is, it essentially allows you to spin up instances uh, on demand. So you can define a scaling group which has different criteria and that one set of criteria there is the minimum and maximum number of instances and that uh, group can essentially scale up or down based on the specific criteria that you specify you know around uh, uh, usage. So again here I just have you know one you know specific group um, that you can see here and we're going to capture the information around that. Next is the Amazon Web Services troubleshooting. So you can actually see all the AWS objects within your environment here in this UI. I can select any of these objects and I can even search for other objects. And I can see where they exist in the hierarchy here and I can see the relationship between this EC2 instance, its volume, uh, what availability zone exists in. You know, I can see that it's front-ended here by a uh, load balancer and I, what region exists in within the Amazon Web Services. And as most of you know, we have eight different regions in the uh, Amazon Web Services cloud. Next, I'll take a look at the instance uh, heat map. So here I can see uh, additional information around different resource categories. So for example, I can take a look at, you know, CPU load on the on the resources. I can take a look at, you know, the memory load on the resources. 
again you'll see that we have these you know multiple widgets and you get additional detail and on these widgets and some of the other ones I've already demonstrated you can actually always select the resource details uh, icon and that will take you to the more detailed page and get more additional information around each of these resources so again a lot of great information and different categories of data here that we can see again if I scroll down further next is the Amazon Web Services volume performance so here I'm going to be able to see the volumes and be able to see things like you know disk read operations uh, write operations uh, reads and bytes writes and bytes so all that information here right at my fingertips all coming in from Amazon Web Services through the management pack for AWS. Also we can see any alerts that are in the AWS and one of the things that you noticed is I did in fact have an alarm when I was in the AWS console and those alarms from uh, AWS can show up here in uh, vCenter Operations Manager as alerts. So you can see that alert and I can go in here and get additional detail around that and also navigate the health tree of the associated resources with that. So I can see the actual VM, the volume, its power on state, what region it exists in, uh, but also what availability zone it exists in. So all that information here right at my fingertips. And lastly, we have the AWS uh, disk space dashboard here. So I can actually see the uh, different instances that are utilizing disk here. And then I can select um, you know, these as well and get additional information you know, around these different instances. And uh, I can scroll down and get additional information uh, in the bottom portion of uh, this dashboard. So that was really a quick run through of the management pack for AWS. Uh, I hope you get a chance to try this uh, with your installation of vCenter Operations Manager, and I wish you all a great day. Thank you.